Harvey and I really wanted to make one of those games that supports all the values that uh, we've always liked to do at Arcane. We both realized that we knew games that we were sort of specialists around, like we, that we loved as players. Uh, I believe there's never been any first person game where you play a, a, the role of a supernatural assassin. In the game you play Corvo, who is the royal protector to the Empress, and you get falsely accused of her murder. So you get thrown to jail, you're gonna escape the jail, and then it's up to you to get revenge, set things right, and uh, restore the kingdom. We wanted to make a game that supported the action player, supported the slow-paced exploration player, supported the super fast-paced guy. Our primary goal was to create a unique, exotic world for the player to explore. I only deal with design direction, which means that I oversee the de concept design process and the fiction. So, Raphael and Harvey, as creative directors, had the input of the overall gameplay experience, and then we started knitting together story, visuals, architecture, and Sebastian would take it from there and work with the theme. On a la même approche de la création d'univers graphique, de monde. C'est de, 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 en fait, on partage la même passion visuelle. Et en fait, donc on a, on a cherché les meilleurs caractères modeleurs qu'on qu 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 nous fallait, et on les a trouvés un petit peu en Europe. On les a pas fait venir au studio parce qu'on s'est dit, euh, il faut qu'ils gardent en fait leur, leur univers et, et leur façon de travailler. Donc. Alors en tant que caractère artiste, on a fait beaucoup de recherches pour euh, arriver à, à capturer euh, l'essence euh, de la morphologie anglo-saxonne, pour que nos, nos personnages en fait s'intègrent bien dans cet univers qui, euh, qui est particulier, quoi, qui a une forte identité graphique. We worked very closely on, on, on the characters. We used both uh, mock-up animation and keyframe animation. Everything we did with uh, the mock-up, we reworked it with keyframe to add a stylized layer on it to match the stylized character we have. Donc mon, mon travail c'est de, de gérer donc toutes les, euh, tous les aspects euh, techniques euh, du, euh, du gameplay, par exemple les, les, les pouvoirs, euh, tout ce qui est euh, intelligence artificielle. Tant que, en tant que programmeur, on, euh, il, faut, euh, il faut vraiment penser à toutes les possibilités que, que le joueur pourra avoir sur le jeu. Raffer euh, arrive des fois avec des, euh, des, demandes, des demandes de design assez, euh, assez spéciales. The mechanics are the most important thing, the interactivity is the most important thing in any video game. It's what's central to the medium, but at the same time we love uh, the narrative layer, we love the, uh, the sense of being in a gloomy space that you can slowly explore and that feels like no one else has ever been there, you know, it, it feels like your experience. As the, the experience is changing at each corner, we have to be aware of that as level designers. We have to what? take care of every possible situation. Supernatural Assassin in a steampunk city, new IP, brand new concept. Uh, these are all big challenges. At any given moment, you could go left, you can go right, you can go over the roof, you can possess a fish and swim into the, the place that you're sneaking into. You can approach things violently with the alarms ringing. No one can ever know you were there. And you could kill everyone, every guard, every servant, every you know civilian, or you can kill no one in our game. Those are choices that are in the water around you as you play. 